Everybody's soaking wet because it's <laughs> E3 2019. And we're all right here, ready to watch this Microsoft press conference. Yeah. You gonna try and open the club soda again? Or yeah, yeah come soda? on, it's probably fine now. It's probably fine now. <laughs> I can't. It's, it's <laughs> self-sealed. We, uh, it, it appears to be okay. The bottle is open. Right, E3 can be good. All right. Four <laughs> seconds before we go live the first <laughs> time at E3. Just opening it for the table. Well, uh -huh. I think, thanks for soaking my iPad. Uh, <laughs> it's, I'm just going to wipe this off here. I was, I was it's given... It's just soda. That's the, the good news. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're supposed to clean with it. It's, that's <sighs> true. That's true. I'm Jeff Gersman. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're here. We're ready for another year of E3. Starting the show with a big one with Microsoft and their uh, their Xbox briefing. Ben Pack is here. Hi. Dan Reichert is here. Hello. Uh, over on the other end, down there at the end, we got Vinny Caravella. How you Hi. doing? Hi. Hi. Alex Hi. Navarro. Hello. Brad Shoemaker. Hello. We're all We're ready all... to go. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Yeah. Just wait all year for this. <laughs> <laughs> like kind of. Yeah. Like uh, you know, I'm... if you think about the. Microsoft's been on this arc, right? They've been like yep. for the, the Halo. The, yes, yeah. they, they've been. Well, if they Halo, they'll end up back where they started, and that's probably a bad thing. Go. But hey, Three, we'll see. Three sixty, right? Well, okay. So they're at the center of the experience. Okay. I like it. Uh -huh. I like it. Uh -huh. This is going to be the time. I, I mean, we're going to. Well, they're going to talk more details about their next platform. They're going to talk more details about their streaming service. Um, they say they're going to have something like fourteen games that they are publishing here. Um, they bought all those studios. They did, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. They bought all those studios. Since the last Bombcast where we tried to um, figure out what those 14 games were, uh -huh. I guess the Ninja Theory game leaked. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget the name of it all. <laughs> but it was like a 4v4 like melee combat yeah, it's the same thing, thing. From a month ago? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like talking the, about? yeah the, you know, have, the same basic concept. Have they straight up said, we are definitely talking about our new platform, or are we all just... So what they've been doing is they've been putting out images that have like the Xbox logo, and, and there's been little messages in them that are RGB color values. So the first one had an R, the second one had a G, the third one had a B, and that, when you total it all out and put that color up, it's Scarlet which is the code name for their next thing, and they have since acknowledged, like, hey, you did it. Hey, you're the first person to find it, so we're going to give you a month of Xbox Live or whatever. <laughs> That's really what happened? That's really what happened. They gave, like, no, one I didn't just make up a fucking That's ARG. <laughs> I know, that was like, going to be really impressive if they did. They called an 800 number, and then there was a dead <laughs> drop in a field. No. And you got out there, <laughs> and there was a hobo with a knife. <laughs> you had to find a medallion of a serpent and a yeah. medallion of an eagle and put him in the thing and turn it. And Shrine then, of the Silver Monkey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leon Kennedy was like, Scarlet! Yeah. Exactly. I got it. Uh, so, yeah, they, they've you know, also, you know, uh, Phil Spencer appeared on a, a brief kind of pre-E3 Major Nelson podcast like yesterday, uh, kind of talking about, hey, here's the, some of the stuff. He talked about trying to use uh, Project X Cloud on his phone while in Africa. He said he saw a frame of Crackdown 3, and, you know. Like, cause they don't have the data centers there. Yes. It's, it's all yeah. in test. You know, it's but they like, saw it. He saw it. But, yeah. <laughs> it reached it. It reached it. Finally. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. They, they, they've been talking in little bits and pieces about um, some of those. Their intent here, I think, to, to say what they're going to say. So, what do you, okay. What do you think happens? They, let's assume they do their streaming service and they announce it here. What do you think that is with parity to the console? Do you think you get games that are only available on PC in that streaming service? No. Or you get all Xbox no, One consoles? No, I think consoles? The, the thing that they have since said is that any Xbox One game will run on Project X Cloud. Oh, all right. So, in theory, it would be... And, and so the, the question then becomes, like, well, what about all these Kinect games? What about those What games? about all those Kinect... Can I play Kinect games in the cloud? <coughs> no. I play can the I, Black Eyed Peas experience yes, in the cloud. Can I you can Kinect barely play the, phone. Yeah, that in, like, in a normal <laughs> live environment. Right. <laughs> they, said, they said every Xbox game can run, not that it will. Right, yeah. So. They, we don't know if there's going to be business involved in that. Um, there's always. There's always business. Business. Involved. Yeah. Um, uh, you think that gets rolled into... The like ultimate subscription stuff, or is that? I would like to think that that was them they prepping for to, this, right? and that that's the fee. But then they launched Game Pass for PC this morning. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, well, I don't know. I think they I, those pages published. I don't know that they necessarily. Intended. I feel like I feel like I saw people signing up for it, saying they had signed up. Okay, it's five I saw bucks. people signing up for like the ultimate flip okay. or, or whatever. PC Game Pass is five bucks a month. Yeah, so and different games. Pretty good. Which then you start to think like, okay, so that means probably. Now they've got another service, so what's the all-in roll-up for that stuff? If you're an Xbox game... That's the thing I want to know. If you're an <clears throat> Xbox Game Pass subscriber, do you get these PC games? Now how much would you pay? Right. 
uh, or or is there, are they keeping those separate services? All right, what is there? Xbox Live Gold, Game Pass for Xbox, Game mm-hmm. Pass for PC. Then and there's Ultimate, Ultimate, which is Game Pass for Xbox. Well, I'm talking Xbox about piecemeal. What are the parts? Oh, and I guess uh, xCloud. If and that xCloud could theoretically be a separate tier. So, like, uh, how much would you pay a month for all that? Twenty bucks. Are they still doing the thing where you can actually just like rent the or you get the Xbox for free as long as you sign I up think, the two year commitment I think or something? That's still out there. Yeah, I think you can still do that. They haven't talked about it. What if you didn't while. need the console? That'd be great. Because well, so that's the your other brain is the console. Well, that's you the other are the thing. controller. Like, I am the controller. We're talking about this service stuff. We're talking about this cloud stuff. Presumably, there's a next box. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've they've said it. <clears> yeah. yeah. So like, what? reportedly there are two of them. Right. So the yeah. question becomes, yeah. how much of that are we actually going to see? Because obviously right. they're not going to start talking like pricing or like release Ooh. dates or anything yet. They'll like we'll have more to say yeah. probably in 2020. I, I but. think that they will backdoor their way into some of it um, by showing PC versions of stuff like Halo. There right. was a the Brad Sams re- reported on some of that stuff saying like, hey, Halo Infinite will probably be shown on PC, um, which I think then you could start to infer like, okay, that's also probably what it might look like on a next generation Xbox. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, and that sort of stuff. So I, I don't know if they'll, if they'll just show if they will have a game running on what is development hardware for the next you think, Xbox. Do you, I, do you I think that know. segues or or some business terms into like their um, hey, and if you're a subscriber to the streaming service, you'll be able to play those games. Day, you'll transition to that day one. Like you'll basically, if you're right. paying for the streaming service, you don't have to go out and buy this console. No weird. Like not weird, but like Netflix upgrade to HD fee. Like you will just play right continuously. I would I would assume that that's you know that, those are the capabilities that they're kind of unlocking by going down this road, right? And, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I'm saying the capabilities there, whether the business terms that the, the, that's just them drawing lines and carving it up yeah. how they see like, where to, they see money. I but have to imagine <laughs> there isn't a server room filled with Xbox One Xs, right? They are using PC. <clears throat> their server blades. Yeah. They they talked about that recently for the yeah, Xbox One X. Custom, it's custom X Cloud server blades. Okay. Yeah. And like those, I assume that hardware when they put it together. Would be able to mimic whatever their next platform is, yeah. right? In strength, in all theory, presumably, yes. Presumably, yeah. So, hopefully. yeah, or, or they or they've got two sets of racks, one for <laughs> Xbox One games, and oh uh, my, I ain't no scientist. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that that could be cool. That I mean, that's a that seems like a great ecosystem to be in at that point. Like you have the ultimate game, you have the Game Pass, which has been killing it. Right. If you get that streaming service and don't you, and you can play day one without having to buy a console, new console games, that seems like a pretty awesome place to be. Yeah. yeah. If it all works. Well, yeah, right. If, if it all works and the, and the price is right, I think, like, they're, they're providing the choice that Google can't. You know, right. when you look at Stadia and you look at that streaming service and that offering, that's streaming only. You know, so then it becomes like, okay, well, am I, am I expected to rebuy a game Especially with their launch lineup that they put put out for Stadia, like I already own a lot of those games. I'm not going to buy them again so that I can play them anywhere. That's ridiculous. Right. Um, and their exclusive stuff. I mean, I don't, <coughs> don't want to denigrate the people who made them, but it wasn't that appealing to me. Right. The, the, sure. The two games Guilt they had and, Yeah. The uh, yeah, uh, Packers. But, but you know, Microsoft, with all those um, companies they bought, will have plenty of Microsoft exclusives coming up. Well, we hope. I assume. I don't I mean, buy all those It's today? been a long time since they've had a rush of first party games, yeah. so, and they bought all the studios, so they kind of, they better. I, I <laughs> like, oh, but, uh, unless uh, unless the their next... plan is to be like, hey, we're going to publish these things, like this is a new age for Microsoft, we're going to put this stuff other places. Uh, Brian Fargo from In Exile yeah. tweeted that he's got a game there today, so that's one of the 14. Okay. So all that, right. that is a new game from one of the studios they bought. Okay. Uh, yeah, and as far as putting stuff other places, uh, there was word out of France. And by France, I mean Los Angeles, mm-hmm. France, uh, claiming that Miyamoto would be at this press conference. Uh, I mean, yeah, who who put the kibosh on the uh, xCloud on Switch stuff a few weeks ago? I can't remember where that came from. I don't know. I didn't, Somebody, I didn't. it might have been like a Brad Sams type Microsoft insider. Oh, yeah. Somebody came out in, the, remember all that hubbub? Yeah, yeah. Somebody some stuff a while back saying like this is definitely happening. And then somebody who would know came out and said, no, that's not on the table right now. And then everybody stopped talking about it. Yeah. I mean, the only thing maybe they've said, back, maybe, maybe stuff, it's back on. Hey, stuff is always on the table. Maybe it's yeah. back on when it comes to that sort of shit. So. But I mean, the only thing that's been said expo- like explicitly about where Microsoft and Nintendo are at these days is like some Xbox Live account stuff. Minecraft. On, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah Minecraft. Minecraft Cuphead. Cuphead. Yeah, um, there's, a, there's a few things. Yeah, so this could be anything from just like, hey, we're putting Banjo into Smash. Did, to, you know, didn't like, they announce like, a worry for Switch? Yeah, uh, I think that sounds, sounds like right. Yeah, I think that that's correct. Yeah, so there's some... 
Ori for Smash from crossover. So they've moved yeah. beyond the memorandum of understanding oh. and into mm. actually putting games across uh, on, on some of these services. So I had a thought this morning, and I have to say it out loud because do I don't have much time left. Okay. The table. Microsoft is hungry again. They've yeah. gotten scrappy again because mm -hmm. they really blew it this generation. Mm -hmm. This is insane, and it will never happen. But what if they pull another Xbox 360? As in, what if they launch? What if they launch a year early again? I, I, oh. I don't think I'm guessing. Ready. I just don't I'm guessing it's like ready. logistically impossible. Yeah. I'm guessing there is like but if literally you think about no it, way they, they can, can do kind it. of backdoor their but, way into what a if they launch. Did? If it's like, hey, the, they've already said the streaming service will be available right. this year in some form, whether that's a public yeah. test or whatever. Yeah. So they could kind of backdoor into it by saying like, you can play Halo Infinite right, right now on a stream on your Xbox One, totally, right, and then buy the next console. Yeah. If you want to play it locally later, like I basically just stopped huh. and said, "All right, what is the most outlandish thing they could possibly say today?" And it's yeah, probably if, that. If they can brute force their way into the hardware because they have server racks somewhere, and then yeah. they don't have locked final local hardware, and you could yeah, you can run that game on a dev kit somewhere. I mean, it worked last time. <laughs> I'm gonna go a step further. Sure. They're gonna pull a 360 by just re-releasing the Xbox 360 this year. Hey, but a, but a tiny, but a tiny it did one. great for them. Mm -hmm. a, little, a tiny mm -hmm. one that sits on your counter. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. Comes with 20 games. Um, yeah, I can totally see them previewing next gen games on that streaming service. Absolutely, it'd, it'd be it'd be kind of wild not to. You know, like yeah. it, it's it's such an opportunity for them to to kind of show people like, hey, here's what the power of this stuff looks like. If you want to buy that box, or if you just want to play these games or whatever, the, theoretically, like if we get starting getting cross gen games, you end up in a situation where it's like, okay, do you want to run? If you have, so let's say you have fast internet, let's say the 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 bandwidth cap stuff is not a factor, yeah. even though we know that's a huge a deal. Factor. Um, you get into a thing where it's like, hey, you could play Halo in, like, let's say Halo Infinite's cross-gen. You could play this on an Xbox One, it's going to look like this. Or you could play it on our streaming service on the same hardware you already have, and it will look like this. And then if you want this in a local experience because that's just how you like it, that'll be available next year, you know, like that yeah. sort of stuff. There's, there's a lot of, they have a ton of options, and I think that's what makes them, like, they're in such a great spot because they've been building towards this for years to get in this position to where... They can kind of do whatever with whoever, uh, and it's kind of weird. It's it's a weird time. It's kind of awesome, um, and so I guess like we'll just kind of see if they can make good on or how much of that they can make good on. Yeah. Uh, do you, Do you think this kind of hasn't been Microsoft style for a while? But kind of like you were saying, Brad, maybe they're a little scrappier now. Do you think they go after Sony in a way that tries to push that, like explicitly says, like only on Microsoft will we be able to get you know next gen stuff. Um, streaming and all, all of that, because I know Sony had that handshake photo of like we're trying mm -hmm. to do infrastructure. Right. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah. It's infrastructure week. <laughs> it's infrastructure. Yes. I, I I don't know. I I think Microsoft's position has been like, hey, it's better when we're all on the same team. Yeah. And and no. so like the idea of like pressing Sony, especially now that Sony's caved on the crossplay thing, which was the last thing I think Microsoft was really fucking sticking to them on. Yeah. Um, and they caved. So I I think that that's kind of. <clears throat> you know, it's going to be kind of everybody's friends here for a little, until they're not, right? Until they're not. But for now, anyway, I think they're just going to be hands off. We love games. I love games. Uh, I love games. power of the cloud. I'm hands all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So their timer is expired uh, for the Xbox briefing. So we think that they're probably going to be starting any moment now. It is dead on 1 p.m. Um, well, yeah, let's get that hot jam going. Uh, over under on them talking about their streaming service and maybe no fault of their own, the stream pitches. Seems to happen every single time somebody gets real deep into like, it's gonna work flawlessly. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, people are saying our audio is desynced, so who knows? Great. <laughs> the internet's a fucking bad place. It's hey. a bad place. Here we go. There. What? Oh, what? There. <laughs> That's not what it looks like to me. That's crazy. That's cool. <laughs> Look at that. They can't. Good job, guys. They can't look at that. But yeah, but they did, did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> How's that work? Oh, is your hand disappeared? Yeah, Ooh. my hand disappears. Oh, Brent's the whole head's gone. <laughs> we really shouldn't have put that thing so far out from the wall. <laughs> it's a safety hazard. Oh, Whoa. look at that. Man. This is the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. No, just the, the camera effect they did. It's cool. Cars. New console confirmed. Cars, jetpacks, guns. <laughs> the first thing I showed was a car. Uh, Video games are back. That, 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 that was that, was, that, battle? that yeah. looked like maybe some battle tones. <clears throat> uh, that, that, at least this morning, it's a 2D sense. 
Battletoads is? Who do you beat them up? What? Yeah, they, they said that last year. Oh, did they? Yeah. Like polygonal or yeah. like going retro? They said 2.5 D. You know, so you know what that means. Such a non term. <laughs> okay, it's pandemonium. The Battletoads yes. are driving into the screen. <laughs> it's the blaze blue of Battletoads. Gross. <laughs> you can throw dudes into the camera on the NES. A lot of air dashing. Yeah. <laughs> That'd make that game good. Yeah. All right, that was all 14 games. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Halo. The cool Not everything in space is Halo. And most efficient structure history That's my favorite pizza place. Us. Oh, you mean Riz Rizzo's, Rizzo's original? Mm -hmm. No, famous Rizzo's. The colony must never lose faith. This is uh, Outer Worlds, isn't it? Mm. Security. Not Outer Wilds. Right. No, world. not Outer Wilds. <laughs> This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Yeah. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Is everything we have. Yeah. Everything we I are. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. We owe to them. <clears throat> they are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. Ranger has just arrived. Looks like a not Fallout Fallout Someone game. I was gonna say, shout out to them to getting war. Fallout in space before the Fallout <laughs> so in space. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, there hasn't been a Fallout game since Someone four, so the time that's true. <laughs> Wait, looks I mean, like some say there hasn't been a Fallout game since I New Vegas. <laughs> I hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Yes, this is this is Outer Worlds. Or a psychopath. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I guess I almost speak out of turn here. This game's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I just drop, and just drop kick that dude, so I'm in. Okay. Yeah. Little gravity They just said it was going to be game pass. pass that launch. I mean, they bought Obsidian, so even though they're not publishing oh, it, I guess that still, makes sense. Man, game pass. Really do. Who is publishing this? Uh, uh, Private Division. It's the label of 2K. Okay. Right. The they kind of made that deal before the acquisition, we'll and are sticking to it. Same. Okay. Okay. Shrinky sure thing. <laughs> you can kind of play this better than Fallout did. Yeah. Looks like you can move around more yeah. too. Yeah. All right. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. I'll play that. That's this here. Yeah. Can I stream? Please welcome. Is that Game Pass? Ninja Theory. Is that his Game Pass? Oh, well, it's, yeah. And Dom Matthews. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, Games. we already had a very exciting game several years in the making, and we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or it's if you're here involved. at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. World premiere. Kinda. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this has attitude. So this didn't leak? Or was it just the this name? Leaked, was, yeah. Oh, this, this whole this, trailer leak? This whole thing. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I haven't For, seen it. The footage and everything? Yeah. Oh. Like shot off a screen, no audio. And oh, then, wow. Okay, I haven't actually seen this yet. Anything else from this do that, or just this? I think it was just this. Maybe like Anarchy Reigns. I don't know. It sounds like it's four v four melee combat, which sounds like Anarchy Reigns. No, this is Bleeding Edge. Okay. 
I'm not saying you don't say you're the makers of Hellblade, because you are, but when you're pitching this game, maybe Hellblade is not the one to immediately draw a comparison to. Indistinguishable. <laughs> okay. I mean, Hellblade is sad in this universe. I don't know <laughs> what the big deal. Guest character. Is there a guy named Zero Cool in there? I don't know. There was a guy named El Bastardo, though. <laughs> We just had El Bardo. Is it just, is it like the Borderlands take on For Honor? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was just... yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know enough yeah. about it yet to say yeah. one way or the um, other, but. <laughs> Tonal! Does the lady show up? I love Chasm. Green! Yeah. I guess it's more of an aqua blue. Take back what you said about the green. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> or he's back. He's got attitude. Or he's just or fuck some shit up. Tapping his foot. <laughs> like, whoa. That attitude is sad. <laughs> sad attitude. <laughs> Ori and Forrest and Knuckles. <laughs> hey. The big set piece stuff in this game looks like the first one. Yeah, this, looks, this looks good as hell. Yeah, I think this yeah, looks better than that. that. Oh, okay. I'm so good. Cross rush. Did they show much of this last year? I don't think they. I'm not sure if they've ever shown it. They showed a little bit. They announced like, the they logo. Announced it for sure. I want to say they announced the name ages ago, but that might be. Yeah. I think they showed a short trailer you last might, year. You might be right. Story it's, trailer. It's the, that's the bird from Rehearsal. Let's just hope that soundtrack's better this time around, right? <laughs> Wow. Oh yeah, that was wow. one of the bad soundtrack. <laughs> yep. That's right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I... It was a good soundtrack. It's a great The game just wasn't that great. Was that designed to make you think it was Splinter Cell for a half second? <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft 2. <laughs> this time it's real. I mean, that's just the AR yeah. Minecraft right. game. <laughs> it said this is a new game? It said from the creators of Minecraft. This, this is, is this the dungeons, the... Single player yeah. expansion thing. You would never guess it's from the same people. <laughs> well, I mean, to I mean, be fair, kind of there are like a thousand games that look like this yeah. now. <laughs> it's like, no, it's this Call is of Duty, us. but with blocky Minecraft graphics. <laughs> this it's is a very specific proprietary blockiness. <laughs> <Yeah. right. laughs> Gauntlet? <clears throat> it's Diablo. Diablo. Yeah. yeah, Diablo Craft. But I mean, if they make a Minecraft Diablo, I want to be able to make my own dungeons and share them yeah. with people. Uh... Zoom in. Steve. Is Steve a class? <laughs> <laughs> the game begins with Steve die. It's Steve's dying words are, I dug a really deep hole to get some diamonds. <laughs> you have to go down there. I wrote, wrote a song parody about it. <laughs> it's got 14 million views. Here it is. Wait, is this mentioned before? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the okay. the name has been out there. <laughs> oh, I thought something else was gonna happen. I thought he was gonna hit it. It was gonna change from four to eight or something. <laughs> yeah. and like, oh my god! But like, it's, he just hit it. Nothing happened. It's like, ah, uh, try to make a game. Bigger, <laughs> sorry, guys. Bill Spencer. Is the shirt. Is that going on? Like a brain. I saw brain. Just vib ribbon. He's gonna start wearing all the Leiden <laughs> shirts. Life Force sequel. What is that? Uh, Death Stranding. Bill, you're not supposed to wear shirts we can't decipher. <laughs> yeah. okay. Thank you. Is that dude just throwing up the Someone got injured in the crowd. <laughs> Get a ref out there. Thank you. We got busted we open hard way out there. Team Xbox live for this exact moment. Phil was banging his head against the locker the before he came out there. We get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories 
new worlds and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment game. of discovery <laughs> is it's etched Minecraft in your too. gaming yeah. history. Yeah. Alongside your every yeah. achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox no friends. are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, <laughs> he said the thing yeah, or one of the billions right around the world Angeles? who play games, welcome to E3 2019. Black one, this so have right fun. now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. What does that mean? The expanding universe up. of gaming has opened a Where new era at? of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the plane. world has more than tripled. They're in your school. Over your two child billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. Take that, mom and dad. Listen, <laughs> Cuber. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play okay. with the friends they want, <laughs> and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. Really when they that. announced the Stadia Connect, I, I when they called their thing the Stadia oh. Connect, I had a real bad <laughs> This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting <laughs> communities through cross-play. And why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, porno anywhere BNs. this year. Me, the Sony is not here. <laughs> today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you, Dang. That was bit. including that like 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. That's a good number. Yeah. yeah. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming. Gear 6. And of course, revealing more about our next new console. Is your spy supposed to be this year? Yeah. So thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Let's jump in. All right, you just, you just go, huh? Yeah, was that yeah. them like officially bringing back the jump in, like that they haven't really used since the 360? Uh, well, I thought they've been doing that for a while. Did they, I'm trying to think when the last time they used it. I think I saw it on the Star Wars footage just okay. Say it again. That is the most batteries not included asteroid you could have possibly oh, yeah. conceived. Dude's face looks weird. Wait, is this that game? Yeah. Huh. All in order. Yep. Oh, come on. He's a little more cartoony. He's not a Wookiee, he can't do that. No. Hey, who are you? <laughs> I'm Forrest Whitaker. Who are you? Yeah, I'm How Forrest Whitaker. Cal Kestis. So gorilla. Oh, they're going to show it. They're not going to show it. Are are they? Jedi show business. Jedi. The four Rogue One, right? Yeah. Not all of them. Kind of has to be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Assuming he does. <laughs> Jedi. Oh. Which means it puts it like pretty close to episode four. Yeah. We have to stop them. That's the plan. The 
Jedi! A nut get lost. Okay, one, this back. one has wall it's running and robots in it. Oh, it's gonna have Ratchet and Clank segments, right? Where you're the robot and you have to run through air vents and stuff. That's about right. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to pre-order him. <laughs> Get an exclusive gold skin. World mm -hmm. premiere. <laughs> Alan Wake. Alan Wake too. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> for a sec, I was like, wait, is this Condemned? What are we doing? Oh, yeah. The Condemned guy's gonna find Alan Wake. <laughs> condemned versus Alan Wake. Oh. What the? Outlast? Is that Silent Hill? No. Scope? Yeah, Silent Hill. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Silent Scope. The new tank in the Silent Scope universe. Which we're grounded. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow a death strand. Okay, bullet. <laughs> Let's find this kid. Dead to rights. Wait up, bullet. Bullet. No, that dog was Shadow. No. Boy. Oh. Did he die? Bad tree. Remember this game? You don't know the name of yet. <laughs> <laughs> Check out these woods. Good with the woods. You can go in these woods, I'm gonna say. Yeah, Bad Woods. That would be a good name for a game. Bad, <laughs> bad Woods. Bad woods. <laughs> the dog's name is Woods. Bad woods. If you're Frank Bad. Oh, that. You can't do I work that. Blair Witching yeah, that shit, that's, huh? Is that Outlast? Maybe it's Blair Witch. Big hey, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Whoa. He tanked the whole time. By Man whom? on three. <laughs> Oh, it, it is! is. Oh, oh, holy wow. shit! Weird. <laughs> so they can do that. That is kind of wild. Huh. Is that... People know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, it's still a very famous horror film. Yeah. Uh, Shadows, they, everyone loves it. Didn't they, I thought they just made a new one, like, uh, a handful of years ago. A new movie? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. they made Book of Shadows. Yeah, wasn't there a, a recent one? Bad. <laughs> okay, I believe you. We're here against Bad. Oh, it's Cyberpunk? The control room. Yeah. But that's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah. You think we get a date? Uh, that would be at the. Wait, would that be here? I mean, this is where you could be the only place that this will show up. I'm gonna say no. The press conference. I, I mean, they've been saying 2020, right? I don't they think have they have it. I think people assume. Yeah. Looks sharp. Yeah. They didn't put up the thing though that says real time, right? Batista? Hey, you're not a robot enough to get in here, bro. Get a metal leg and come back. Be my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. <clears throat> the upgrade you got my the glow chip? jacket. I think V is a lady in my head all because right. of last year. Start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Wash up. We gonna be with you in a minute. The Ripper doc? Wow. Oh, last year? No, this guy's like a gangster. It's a mess. Right, but like the Ripper dogs where you get your like upgrades, right? Take your face Computers off. Computers inside me are telling me it's bad. Oh, I should have sprung for the forehead mod too. <laughs> Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination <laughs> confirmed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out. We're rich. Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jack. Gotta keep it clean for the Xbox press conference. Jack. Oh, Jack. Oh, I got shot in my not robot parts. No, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> Get to a clinic. It's right now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! I think we medical help. Okay. Okay. Just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good <laughs> that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. They censored stuff in the past? I don't know if the Xbox press conference is. I don't think they've ever had a lot of more. cussy yeah. stuff uh, on yeah. stages yeah. usually. A lot of rated end games, the Call of Duty. Wow. Uh, you can make that fun. dude was like a super major character in all the stuff they showed last year. 
kill them off. What? I think well, they're Maybe showing, he doesn't have to die. Yeah, I'm thinking of probably oh. choices, right? Feel weird, huh? You know, it's like mm. you did. Just and take you know. the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. Huh? We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Make sure you send Baraka's origin story. Yeah. Send right, send right out the language. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's a techno wizard. She's mind hacking you. Out freak the mind freaks. <laughs> it's gonna need to stim up for that. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Whoa, what? 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 I think my brain got hacked. He just out Kojima Kojima. He He's Bill and Ted Bundy, right? We're thinking he's welcome. And they said everything leaks. Okay, that kind of rules. What the hell? <laughs> like the game was already really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is really stupid and I love it. Wow! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Search really cool, dude. <laughs> Video games! <laughs> I've yeah. just been made aware of them! Alright. You play that Matrix yeah, game yeah, I did? Me neither. <laughs> Victim <right>. in Fortnite? <laughs> Alright. What the hell? I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> <laughs> and the right thing, just go ahead, dude. You have the floor. CD Project Red. <laughs> it's like he's doing a Japanese Cyber commercial. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. A while back, <laughs> the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their the new project, <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> they were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited about it. <laughs> Fair enough. And I'm yeah. always drawn to fascinating stories. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a scanner so dark? Now oh. my band's gonna play. <laughs> Dog star. <laughs> they got Johnny Is set in a metropolis of the future. <laughs> like, I wish there was the main motor reveal. He just bends down, takes sunglasses off. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of this city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets it. Okay, but let me tell you. <laughs> The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. I believe you, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. It's me, and you Zac it. Efron, and Chris Lee Farrell. So, I got to this man's so general part. He's <laughs> doing so much better than fucking Breaking you Bad Guy with his fucking <laughs> oh, oh, God. His shit. When there's uh, when a, the release date. <laughs> Oh, is Keanu Reeves yeah. going to announce the Cyberpunk release All thing? Right. The, I love that sentence. Then check this out. This is real. Honestly, it's so good. This I don't understand why. I want like a thousand edits to be checked check this out. And then it's so good. Dogs farting. You have gone to the getting dropped on his head. It's every good video on the internet. <laughs> I don't think anyone of us guessed this. Let's see. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. That's actually still sooner than I thought it would be. Is he gone? Please don't be gone. <laughs> he's oh, he's gone. Oh. See the new Phil Spencer? But that was really delightful. They are jumping in.
world premiere. Uh, what else are you going to put Keanu in? We have a book for the <laughs> night show? <laughs> it's John Wick Hex. <laughs> Streets of Rage 4. Really? Like, starting with the showstopper there. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're going to close with platform stuff, I would imagine. Huh. Could not have picked a totally different experience. <laughs> Look, you gotta have the cooldown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, this looks you gotta fine, have your six man tag between the title yeah, matches. Yeah, I like the way this looks, but I'm still thinking about Keanu Reeves saying, oh, the release date? <laughs> <laughs> you must build a boat. <laughs> like the band. Yeah. About time the Xbox got games where you played instruments on ships. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, come on! Don't do this to me! EA original games, was it? I don't know. Spiritfarer. Ooga, 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 chaka. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. It's been paused for all these years. <sighs> Playing that fucking music. They're cool. They're not cool. They're not cool. Bad they're never, never cool. cool. This is cooler than they've ever been. Yeah. I don't know if I like art stuff. Keanu Reeves. Looks like a game Devolver would pass on. <laughs> oh my god. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's got that attitude like throw for you, like that yep. kind of thing. Yeah. It looks like that they would be like, mm, we've got so we've got those. Yeah. We've got that cover. We've got a lot of epic like, things. We're, 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 yeah. We've got a wider catalog now. We don't need more oh, of this. Oh yeah. Okay. You can see them coming now. Oh wow. I really like the behemoth. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. That state is only infamous because of how bad it is. It's a weird thing to evoke in your remake. But it's the thing that people remember. Right? Yeah. So Why you just count on them that they'll just like do it better. <laughs> like the Battletoads got streamers. Very Zelda thing. Drawn to death too. Mm -mm. <laughs> Drawn to life. <laughs> That's also. Awesome. This like fake Dragon Quest soundtrack is yeah, really it's, it's pretty good. <coughs> this is that is this is like, like spot on. Yeah, like, like they really actually think this is actually Dragon Quest somehow related. A lot going on here. Yeah. <laughs> a lot going on here. This is a thing I made. I don't know. It's not a game. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to show. Rig time? I, I, well, right time. Oh. A, I think there was a W in front of it. Even their title treatment has a lot going on. Yeah. Maybe too much. It's okay. We don't need to see the, this. This is where we get like, you know, 15 of the new games. Yeah. Or like 60. What are we looking at? Okay. Remember when they did one of these and Cuphead was one of them and everyone like didn't yeah. pay attention to anything? Yeah. It's like, wait, what's that? Okay, Tap Party's a Game Pass game. Cool. Tap is so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's is. Player game. Yeah. Oh, cool. Good name for a game. Crosscode's so good. Oh. So they, that was just Switch last year, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Did that come out on Switch? No. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, looks like hardcore. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> that game, that game has a microphone support. You can yell to make the cart turn. What? Uh, sure. That it's, sounds great. It's real weird. <laughs> Eugene's gonna love that. Vinny. <laughs> yes. Do it time. I like the screaming shopping cart game. Yeah. That seems cool. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. At Xbox, really our good. passion is to help you find and play the games that you love <laughs> through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, be a theme. epic mm -hmm. adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. Okay. We have a lot of stuff now. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, <coughs> Can't <talk> that old. <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Make extra sense with that DLC. Amazing games yeah. that you can start playing today. Does that include DLC when I do a Game Pass thing? No. Mm, I, I think, think you get a discount on DLC, I'm pretty Xbox sure. Okay. It's for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why <laughs> <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. <laughs> Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now, it's about time someone put video games on a PC. PC right? players <laughs> can discover their next no, favorite the game with Xbox Game work. Pass. Yeah, you're right. We have curated over oh, 100 yeah, yeah. games oh, yeah, yeah. just mm -hmm. for PC, Xbox ones work. Oh, wow. including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Those are PC and games. For the you first time on PC, game. starting with Halo Reach, you the entire head. Master Chief Collection. Oh man, remember when Keanu was up there? Was yeah. Cool. Woo! Was cool. yeah. We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Whenever you're ready. So if you have the Xbox One, this is a separate thing. Yeah. That okay. Seems to be what they're saying. Okay. <clears throat> Once he walks back out at the end of this and says, "Oh, by the way, right." If you can get the ultimate thing, hopefully we'll be uh, I don't no. believe that's part of ultimate. Ultimate is gold and yeah, Xbox pass. Game Pass. Yeah. One pass. Yeah. It's not even one pass. It's the Xbox Pass. Like, not the PC. Unless, unless they're going to change other services, but up until right now, that wasn't really. So if you if you cancel Game Pass, you lose access to all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But as long, as long as you have Game Pass, you can play them anytime. Right. They don't cycle in. Games kind of rotate in and out. 
Gears so you can't. Yeah, you have to. You have to do the. You have to do the Netflix thing of Google for like. Here are the games leaving Game Pass this month. Okay. Because they come and go. And you don't need gold to download them, right? No. Right. Which is why the just, ultimate pass exists. Yeah. Just, just to play multiplayer. Oh, weird. That's huh. what, that's what page must have been. It's like a promotional. Xbox a Game Pass PC or she's gonna... is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And oh, did that launch? If you want it all, yeah, it was yes. in the last Windows we update. have created a membership just for you. I want it all. Xbox oh, there's a new one Game that... Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate. Because it was Xbox Live Ultimate yeah. before. You get everything. What? Xbox Game Pass Fort for game console anything? with over 100 great games. Xbox Fort Live console. Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. Huh. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional okay. so that's, charge. That's, the first, that's what they were charging for. Okay. So they rolled console. it in? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. Good. What if I want to scream, scream it? Yeah. And because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for $1. I have a dollar. Can I do it tomorrow? Like a week from today? No, absolutely not. Now go discover your next favorite game. Cool. So Ooh, I guess those premiere. pages that posted early were talking like it was five dollars, but sounds like no. Yeah. I, I don't have a dollar, Alex. Can you cover me? No. Damn it. You can Venmo. Okay. Just gonna send it to her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your Venmo? Ooh. Wait, what? Got a PayPal? Pay People still use PayPal? I have a PayPal. <laughs> I don't have a Venmo. I use cash.me. Y'all like them Google Maps? <laughs> Love them. Tell me where I am, where I should be. Tells everybody where I am, where I've been. Flight simulator? Flight simulator? Yeah. They bring back yeah. flight. Flight simulator? Yeah. Yeah. Bring back Keanu with flight simulator. <laughs> Look at these planes! Keanu is the plane. <laughs> Fly Keanu. I love these planes. Just flying next to flying Keanu. <laughs> Honestly, fuck yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah, sure. Was Game Pass? Yeah. Like, if you're going to show me a game, this is like the cars of the cloud, you know? It's like, yep. you're going to show me a game that... That's what they call airplanes. Yeah. Well, the cars actually, of the cloud. <laughs> it's an Airbus, technically. Uh, you're going to show me, like, what, like, Azure can do and, like, you know, render all this stuff out? Like, sure, this is definitely what I want to see. Tell me more about the cars of the cloud. Uh, the cars of the cloud, one day you will be soaring through okay. the sky. This looks cool. Can I get to work faster? Uh, yourself. Ooh. Uh, you can damage the environment more. Great, love it. Wait, is it 3D when you get low? It looks like it. It would have to be. It's, 20, it's, it's 2020. <laughs> looks great. Yeah. It's going right to the flight simulator. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's Bless their hearts. Good. Was that... For PC only? They didn't say. Uh, nothing uh, said bottom. Yeah, I, I was too wowed. Do sure. you remember the time? Yeah. But armies were built. And powerful cities collapsed. I do not. When the smallest of choices <laughs> echoed a fable. through the pages oh, so this of history. Oh, could this be a fable? It was what? an age no. 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 of empires. Hell yes. <laughs> no, it, a fable would get a more of a... Someone would come out on stage at some point. Yeah. They wouldn't just roll into it, I think. But... This is probably my favorite <laughs> RTS. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I, I really like it. Curious about it. Good wall building. Yeah. I never got into the Age of Empire stuff because just. I think I'll try this. This was like the big one, right? The big Age Two of Empire. Two Yeah. Hmm. Oh. People are saying the Microsoft Store on PC is broken right now. Sure. As people try to <coughs> should have charged two dollars. So, so there is yeah. a there is a different Xbox app launching, not the thing that came with that update. She said Racist. download the new one. I yeah, I don't know if that's coming out today or not. Welcome Screenshots got out of uh, this morning right of it. Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild ice. What was this? Sample home cooked delicacies. <laughs> Eat where the locals eat. The hell am I looking at? <laughs> oh, finally, Visit the Coneheads Colorado game. Springs. I heard they're from France. Yeah. yeah. Colorado looks like. 
Grants Colorado. <laughs> this is what Colorado looked like after the Forza Horizon game. XCOM? Meet new people. Like no, new but friends. yes. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces uh, everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself Get up some mushrooms. And yeah, this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> they legalized so don't it. Be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, there's that's, that's the NXL, NXL game. game. Hmm. Seems like Wasteland 2 a lot. Please it's kickstarted, right? Head of Xbox mm -hmm. Game Wasteland 2. Mm -hmm. I think that one was, yeah. 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 Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios uh -oh. is Nintendo. <laughs> Double Fine Production. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Huh. Huh. I right. guess he was wearing a second that shirt. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Just now we know who's going to publish that thing at Starbreeze. Double yeah. Fine mm -hmm. has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development and now we for own almost them. 20 years with huh. classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, <laughs> Tim Schafer. Iron. Trenched to you cowards! <laughs> Iron Brigade on Game Pass. Who's coming up to me? Oh, that was stuck. Hello. Hello. Thank you. What was, thank you so what, much. What and thank you, Matt. On? We are so excited That's to be joining Xbox Studios. Yeah. Okay. And I'm here to personally reassure DC. you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever <laughs> you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, <laughs> Halo stuff. <laughs> uh, Forza stuff. Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. So that's the Xbox Game Studios presents. So I assume that means that they're now the new publisher of that game. Probably. Mm -hmm. Because Double Fine was doing some publishing stuff at one point, weren't they? Yeah, they, they have their own. And my like, name and I was is Raz. They're doing yeah, Raz. 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 It's my first official <clears throat> day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? Microsoft published the first <laughs> one. No, no, they're not going to. Yeah, they dropped it. Um, the Whoa! Hey. <laughs> Hello. What do you think of Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> it's Keanu, other door. Probably lock, lock that door. <laughs> could have fallen. It could have fallen. Yeah. We've lost control of the bottle. I put the old egg in the box. In the, the second most disastrous thing to happen after the water. No, yeah. No, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Well, I really like Psychonaut. Yeah, too. So I want to play some Psychonaut. World premiere. That's a weird thing, though, that they <laughs> picked up Double Fine. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Mm -hmm. Wait, another Star Wars movie? No, it's the same one, I guess. Oh, it's a World premiere. Rogue Squadron? Armada. High Fighter 2. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These games are good. See, it's they're their worst. Yeah. Yeah. The worst thing you can say about them is they're very expensive. 
Not a funny dude. <laughs> The whole saga. Yeah. I haven't out seen this a Jar Jar yet. Bless yeah. them for not doing the oh, thing wow. where they put oh. the dialogue in from the movies. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was so my least favorite bad. thing that they did. So you think they shouldn't talk then? Yes, I think it should just be the weird gesturing. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Didn't the Revenge of the Sith uh, Lego Star Wars come out before the movie? I think that's right. You might be right. I remember not wanting to play it because I hadn't seen the movie yet. You kind of had an idea what was going to happen, right? Yeah. That wasn't why I didn't want to play it. <laughs> is Double Fine own Fig or is that a separate thing? No, uh, their, their old biz dev guy left to found Fig. They've got kind of a close relationship. What? Oh, All right. Yeah, now we're talking. PG. That name goes me. Right, so he's dead. Some things to say about this game. Don't. You can't say Don't. Yes. Stop it. Snapper? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He used to have hair. He seems really tough. Did you see the, did you watch the Dwelly movie? I have not seen it. I haven't seen any super stuff. That's I thought his name was Goku. <laughs> oh! Who's Goku? Uh, he's the main hero. Okay. He's, like, he's like a superman. He's very stupid. Yeah. It's like John, he's like John Cena. <laughs> He is very much. You know John Cena. You can speak Mandarin? Goku. Yeah, go. Cool. <laughs> John Cena just thinks he'd be a bad father. Goku knows. <laughs> Has John Cena missed any of his children's births because he was dead fighting? No, he knew going in. He's just like, no, no kids. Okay. Hustle, loyalty, respect, celibacy. <laughs> yeah. Eh, not celibacy. No, celibacy. All right. What's the action RPG part of it? Oh, they renamed it. No. Oh. I'm curious to see what that game is. Weird. That's a weird name for that. I prefer Dragon World Ball Z Premier. game. <laughs> Honestly. Now I wonder where that game ends. Like, how far does that go all the way through, like, the cell game? End of the cell. Show yeah, cell. Yeah, they show yeah. cell. They just oh, yeah, Frieza? Yeah, they just the Frieza saga. Huh. You want to guess what it is? <clears throat> this is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. <laughs> you know? This is. I feel like I saw this. This yeah. is game with yeah. that loop. Yeah. yeah. I saw like a thousand that years ago. Yeah. 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 I saw that. I guess Anna Burnett Guess what? Oh, what are you talking about? Out. Yeah, I can't no, wonder if it's going to be a Someone is coming. Yeah, he's yeah, going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. Years ago. Yeah, they brought it to the office. We didn't know what happened. 2015. Oh, the last time they brought it to the office? Yeah. Why are you doing this? My father died of a heart attack? No. I. I didn't have anything this was to do me. with... Yeah. It's like you can call Any the cops. No, yeah, it's really cool. Doesn't, doesn't this look Help me. quite a bit better, though? Yes, they yes, have definitely uprezzed this a lot. Police. And it wasn't top-down before, right? No, it, it was. It was. It was. Did you yeah. call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything! We're here to help. Don't listen Visuals to Visuals were more like Hotline Miami when we saw it. Only chance. Open the door, right now! You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! That's me. I forgot You're home. about this. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> this is an escape room that was very similar to this. And that's what it was called before, too, right? I think so, yeah. I think it look really cool. I thought we were just going to end it an interactive thriller about I feel like they could have showed off what your, the time loop stuff a little better, but like you replay that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. there's only so much you can really do in a, yeah. a two-minute thing on the stage. It's, oh man, that game was neat. I forgot mm -hmm. all about it. It's a... No. That's a zero game. Another one of those beer pusher games. <laughs> it's a crowded genre. Ugh. All of the lights. <laughs> Tokyo Jungle. Yeah. 
That's a big cat. Or a tiny deer. Go up deer game? This is I not think it's like an game. escort and shit. Yeah, it doesn't look like a Untitled deer game. Don't do that. Oh, I you. Fit in your house poster with Austin. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Okay. There it is. There are those square skulls that I know from Years of War. <laughs> that blockhead. <laughs> Gigantic football men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she the one that had the pendant at the yeah. end of the last one? Oh, so she's got evil bug lady stuff in her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, hate to, I hate when that happens. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Stop Wait, do you mean the queen from three? Yeah, what did they actually... Like her daughter or something? I didn't, she had the pendant yeah, at the end. That was a big thing. I didn't play until four, but they actually got back to that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Looks like a nightmare one of the developers would be having. This is actually the whole game. Where do we go? Is this Bjork? <laughs> no. <laughs> huh. Okay. It's the evil bug lady From blood. Oh. Uh -oh. Please welcome yeah. studio head Rod Ferguson. I was gonna say they better go into some kind of depth. So I feel like if, if they, you know, if they're coming out this year and they, I, they kind of still need to make a case of like what is different about this year's game yeah. than the others. Four was good, and I'll find yeah, yeah, like that. We're excited to announce yeah. that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Mm, that's soon. Wow. Wow. Okay. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition. I break them into my house. And the newly announced <laughs> Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Okay. Is this cross uh, PC and Xbox? Can we play co -op? With Gears of War 4, it we was, wanted to earn your out. trust. Yeah. Yeah. But with cool. Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde I mean, mode people that and see how character mode, abilities so, can yeah. turn the tide on the battlefield. Horde mode in September, really we return to the biggest Gears really campaign yeah. ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? I don't know. Today, it's a brand new way to fight this Did you want no, really? I don't know. <laughs> in you Escape, you, you play as one of three Hive Busters. You and your squad infiltrate the Hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. What a... It's from a movie. Oh. Oh. You the pyro. Nothing's wrong with your stage. <laughs> I, just, I don't want to freak out or anything, but your stage is exploded. <laughs> what are we doing here? Check it out! It's Goldberg! <laughs> Iconic Goldberg! <laughs> Andy Pitchford appears. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh no! Whoa! What? There's a monster under the stage. Is that like where the orchestra is during plays? This is where Kane lives. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> and little people's court. What are we what? doing? It's a whole thing. Okay. It's a whole Tell me thing. after. It's a literal courtroom down there. <laughs> Degeneration X was put on trial. The attacked. They committed crimes. <laughs> Everything except the new. You should watch wrestling. Man, actually, I don't recommend it. Watch old wrestling. It looks like a surrender, <laughs> but it's not. 
It's an invasion. So I missed the setup. Is this is a new multiplayer mode? Yeah, arcade. Yeah. No, this, no, this, this is, is infiltration. This is escape. Oh, escape. You're a hive buster. It made it sound like it was a, a co-op, but I don't know. Or maybe a competitive. The three, I think it's a three person, like co-op, get in, get out. Uh. Good. Jim was AFK, can someone go res him? Mm. Sorry, there was no cover to hide behind. Bugs and oh, robots. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh. That's what they're doing. Mm. How many goddamn remixes of Crazy Train are there? <laughs> I can tell you. You want me to. No, no, I don't actually want to know. Is there, is there Minecraft? Kids, uh, on Spotify, yeah. The Minecraft Crazy Train is back. It's got me. Crazy I mean, Rails. It's still a gear game, right? I better get out of there before that Joker gas gets in. Does it gun have teeth? Yeah, I think it does. We don't have time to be doing knife tricks. <laughs> We're dying. <laughs> She's just emoting there. That's the equivalent of like, help us! You guys like class based co op? I do! I do like class based co op. Oh, they're gonna get jokey. Oh, that's from The Rock. That's VX Nerve Gas. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the fuck was that teddy bear? Yeah. I kind of want to know more about the campaign and how yeah. it would yeah, differ really and slash be expanded upon. I'm surprised they're like, doing some multiplayer this. heavy here. But like, I, I think the thing to remember is that like the multiplayer stuff in Gears is still popular. I hope you enjoyed your taste of Escape. An aggressive it's be like there's zombies mode, mode basically. Experience. That's what that looked Perfect like to me. Yeah. yeah. But it's not just about busting hives. You can oh. build them too and challenge your friends with the experience of you buster, create. Buster. And tonight, like join me on Mixer as we challenge <laughs> these three WWE <laughs> superstars, Xavier Woods, <laughs> AJ like Styles, and Simon like Breeze, <laughs> like to survive a gameplay guest. deep dive yeah. from right here in the hive. Wait, is it Breeze? For these at home, for the next yeah. two days, you AJ and your and friends can okay. play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. NXT is Tyler Breeze. Oh, and for anyone who yeah. pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special. Just for you. King. What is <laughs> Why did This is like old intuition. I like this. Yeah. But why are the wrestlers playing down there? <laughs> Wait, why, why is what there is a Terminator? It? E3 is really weird. Meaning you're being influenced right now, <laughs> I believe is the term. Are we gonna watch this? Are there part? Terminators and Gears now? What's this the just fuck? seems like such a disjointed Look at the game. I, you know how to play with Game Pass games. This is literally Terminator. Yeah. The Terminator. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Step on the thing. Yeah. Wait, is this actually Terminator? Yes. yes. Like, tra what? You just said the word Terminator. It said Dark screen. Fate under there. They're doing a lot of Dark Fate licensing. Man, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, I don't. No. Cross brand synergy, motherfucker. Oh, that's what. It looks like Terminator and wrestlers to show up in the gear <laughs> segment. Take it back. They're not shipping a new console this year. <laughs> this is what they're bringing. Yeah. If I could play as Breeze, maybe. <laughs> I, did I really, like, why were they playing down there? Are they, are they doing something after the show? <coughs> he said something about selects. selects. Here we go, are they gonna finally Microsoft update the controller? Yeah. Okay, finally, Ooh. fucking. The talk, the talk was it might be go. Design Labs Elite. Elite Design oh, Labs. Oh, cool. Maybe. Yeah, like, get, get maybe. color that was selections. That was going around this morning. Ooh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, All right. That's, huh. that's yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. Jason is nodding his head. Yeah. <laughs> Shorter locks. I lost all my thumbsticks except the really long ones. Really? <laughs> so I had to. Yeah, I'm like playing like a myth. <laughs> I never bought an Elite, dude. 
They're cool. They're yeah. good. They're, They're really good. Nice. They are. Yeah. I like them a lot. Okay. Oh, all right. That's great. Show me Bluetooth. Yeah, it has Bluetooth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. Forty hours. Is it, it has rumble, right? Yeah. Forty hours. They have NOS. Like, what is it? <laughs> Are the wrestlers okay under there? No, I don't know. <laughs> they're very hot. Someone check it out. They're absolutely not okay. They actually did not build them a way to get out from under the stage. <laughs> they have to escape. That's why it's called yeah. them. Oh, it's called that. They planted a bomb. The Terminator is after them. <laughs> AJ Styles versus Terminator. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure that I would necessarily buy a second Elite controller. Yeah. But my I father said really like the one I have. Told me yeah. Never forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place. Nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Is this dialect? Yes, it is. Sir. Ah. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. The virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence. Mm, the people over there made good choices. Survival. The people over there made bad ones. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we okay. are, but I keep fighting. Do you think they were recording an Up Up Down Down My name down there? Is sure. I'm, trying, I'm just still trying to think of why they were down there. You mentioned yeah. something about like playing the dead their demo in X Microsoft Store. He said you can. Yeah. Like maybe can. they have a level because he said you can make your levels. So maybe like. Are they record? Are they maybe. playing right now? I let it go. <laughs> just that is my advice to you. Here. Just let it go. For what does that have to do with Terminators? <laughs> Nothing. Cross marketing. Money. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's that new second that game from uh, or the new Double Fine game. Yeah. yeah. I heard about that. Man, this is old Microsoft press conference. Yeah. They have a car on a stage, yeah. a celebrity, nonsensical thing in a basement. It's also literally old because this game came out last year. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, it seems like they're going to do another year of content for this, the Lego stuff. Oh, they're getting weird again. They're doing Lego shit. Okay. Oh. That's fun. Yeah. Sure. I don't like Should that Legos look. Drive? I don't like that look at all. <laughs> yeah. I like the look. Lego Island has proved that. Yeah, they, they are not good drivers. <laughs> Do any of you kids like uh, Legos yeah. nowadays? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Even I know that. I don't know any children. I would, I would say though, I would say adults uh, are challenging. I would say more adults probably like it than kids. I don't, maybe 50-50. Okay. Gotcha. Like, there are a lot of like adult Lego kids. Hmm. Think about it in terms of like, what if you could do Minecraft in the real world? Oh. Kids would rather play Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like on some level, I'm surprised they just didn't do a Minecraft integration. Yeah. Well, they do have official they Minecraft Lego. So can you play a Lego car versus real car? Seems like it. How did that Hot Wheels stuff work? Wasn't it like a totally separate mode? Separate yeah, so it was a separate That was highway. cool. Yeah. Good love that. That said available June 13th. That's yeah. like, that's huh, this week. That's, that's, yeah. that's literally this Thursday. Ralph Fulton. Cool. Oh, it's a oh, Lego no. car! Is that part of whatever pass they sold, or is this new? I don't know. Combine McLaren's passion for design <laughs> like with about Xavier half a Woods million of Legos laying in three bricks. We can't you get breathe this down incredible here. life size <laughs> Lego Speed Champions <laughs> McLaren. You forgot to turn the fog machine off! <laughs> Combine the beauty <laughs> and freedom of Horizon <laughs> with the playful there? fun of Lego. You get the Forza Horizon. Please, super kick your way through the car. Lego Speed out Champions here. expansion. <laughs> You will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Hmm. They really uh, missed the opportunity to call this the Brexit expansion. Wow. Oh, I remember this was the last one. Oh, right. Right. Political, political humor frog out there. That's, that was good. No. Oh, <laughs> I like all political humor. You really have something to say. Yep. 
No, my politics, I, I don't actually say anything with it. It's more mature, a, though. Yeah. It's apolitical political jokes mm -hmm. for adults. Here's your, uh, here's your Gears campaign, Jeff. This is, yeah. your, this is what you wanted, right? So this is in soft launch uh, in, like, New Zealand. What is it? It is a Clash Royale. Uh -huh. uh, I bet there's something like a bomb in there. It's a, no, it's a kitten. No, oh, look. No, it's a kitten. Yeah. That's just mean. We're both right. Every Funko Pop is an affront to God. Turn into a pog? Oh boy. It's a double XP token. Pre-order pre soon is about the most non-committal thing you could say about an upcoming video game. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> That's pretty bad. My mission. Find the father I never knew. My mission, that was a find transition. the hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he oh, was seen. But out today. It's sad. Was in Trumbull Valley. I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. I really want a steak sandwich. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. To run this camp this like a dustbin. <laughs> yeah. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. Is that zombies in front of a mall? We ain't seen Seems nothing like it. yet. Where? Oh, mm. you. <clears throat> I want to see what this is because that game was not very story heavy at all. No. Mm -hmm. That's. Huh. All right. Check that out. Hail the now included with Game Pass. That game is good. World premiere. How many takes do you think they had to do to get that world premiere right? And do you think that they recorded a new one for this year? Yes, and four. One. There you go. Oh, hang on. They're putting PSO2 yeah. on the fucking Xbox. The blitz ball? Weird. <laughs> Jeff, how you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, buddy. <laughs> They're like five years too late. On it, like honestly, this game was cool when it came out, and over time, it, I mean, it's super dated. It, it's like they missed the wind. Like they totally missed the window for it. Is there's still going to be a big nostalgia, like group of people who are really. I into guess it, it just. I, I feel like. So many other free-to-play RPGs and stuff have come along. Like there's yeah. been so much other stuff. Yeah. That. It's just kind of weird to do it now with what that game is. Are they, well, they say all the contents. I mean, they're going to bring the big, gigantic bolt-on boobs that just came out. I'm sorry? Seriously, there's all a, there's the a gigantic, like, it, they showed it separate from the body. It is a cosmetic item of just, like, the hugest boobs you've ever seen that you could bolt onto the front of a character. I've seen some pretty... Well, you just sold me on this game, Jeff. Okay, I mean, if it's got all the content, they, then they I guess maybe boobs? it's a thing. I don't think I don't think they had stats on. Wait, what do you mean functional? <laughs> like, yeah, do they gave you better stats? So this is not a sequel. This is. I mean, the same game. They're saying it's cross-play with other versions and all this other stuff, which would imply that it's just PSO2. Uh, that's fucking weird. It's <laughs> really strange. Powered by Azure. So, did Microsoft just step in and <laughs> Those solve the problems for them? Fantasy Star, no. That this game had influenced many of the most popular games Fucking today. What? <laughs> so with great delight, this is we welcome Sega Jeff. back to our stage <laughs> and Fantasy Star film. back on <laughs> Xbox. The interview is just going to be really good. Like, like Fantasy Star. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games.
Weird, Meeting man. with developers, <laughs> playing their games, and introducing you to their games. These are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition. <laughs> Turn up the X. To bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. That's a lot. I'm happy yeah. to Ooh. announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. What? Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, Does anyone you'll know what discover the is? newest entry you know in this landmark is? franchise. I don't think okay. anyone knows about on console, like 650 million for people. For the very first time, <laughs> only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. What is? It's Crossfire X. Ooh, what? It looks to be a Korean. Yeah, it's a Korean. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's all you had to say. <laughs> it's Korean. Crossfire is an online first-person shooter with over six million concurrent players across the globe, according it's, to, uh, six million million. to Google. Oh, well, all right, sorry. That was concurrent. Okay. I was saying concurrence. Okay. Uh, That's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. <clears throat> I mean, if they're making inroads with like popular free-to-play games and getting them on these platforms, I okay. well, especially with crossplay, like yeah, yeah. Like, it'd be weird if it was like, hey, here's PSO2, and you can only play with and other. It starts Xbox from people. like week one <laughs> yeah. of that game and doesn't, yeah. Table's too big. <laughs> This was the actual negotiation meeting to get this game on Xbox. <laughs> this is just that scene from Batman. Oh, yeah. I think this is that scene from The Matrix. Oh, the guys on the other side of that table are going to be happy that table's so big now. Yeah, seriously. They're going to be fine. I think their the spirits got knocked out of them. I'm going to split his gate. I'm trying to yank my internet cable. Smile. Sorry. Ooh. I'm going to smile on his gate. Yeah. Great line. <laughs> what kind of game is this? War, it's first shooter, war oh, gun, yeah. Call of Duty. <laughs> you punch this building. It just looks like the trailer for like a third person PS2 shooter. Yeah. You know, it's got that vibe of like kill switch or just like, yeah. like yeah. they brought their B game in this trailer is what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you, finally. Okay. Sure. Weird. All right. World premiere. So all this stuff leaked, right? So is this the new Tales, or...? Yeah, that's what I think. Not the Nino Cooney. Everything we knew is truth, leaked on our press site. I will play the hell out of a new Tales game. <clears throat> I, where is, what is the state of the Tales? Universe? Is there definitely a new Tales game? I just saw Nino Cooney in the... I, I'm pretty sure that was the fun here. software stuff. It does not look like from software game. Tales like Tales of uh, Symphonia. Yeah, yes. they made a bunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's. I could do that. Which part? Uh, pretty much all of it. I mean. Yeah, this is Tales. Are any of them turn-based? This looks or they really. Like... No, they're all like active. Oh, right. It looks way better than the last. Way, way different. Like, roughly how many are there? Five? Ponya, Vesperia, the something, uh... There's uh -huh. a bunch of old ones. From, yeah. Yeah, from like... I'm gonna start on the PS1, I think. Do you think this will utilize the linear motion battle system? I think they'll make inroads on uh, the... The limb, uh, sim sim limb, limb system? The limb systems. Yeah. But there's also the P-limbs and the A-limbs, you gotta remember, and the C-limbs. I'm not interested in offshoots of the limb system. Okay. Uh, I think it's their limb system. They can do whatever they want with it. There are six no, they said at the beginning, this is my limb system. I used to be one of them. 
My name is Lilith, and I need you. Is there any world in which Randy comes out after this trailer? I'm going to say that there might have been a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> now he's in the basement with us. Yeah. <laughs> They're just pinning him down. Bunch of wrestlers. <laughs> hey guys, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> can I can come on stage. You're a magician. Get out. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Shooty gun guy. Sounds like a song that would be in a Borderlands trailer. Right. Okay, we're on, we're looking out for Claptrap Dabby. <laughs> if you had clap trap Dabby. They did it. They said it. Oh no, Alan. You owe me a check. Oh, no. Gearbox. <laughs> that was close. That was close. They're gonna send you instead five copies of that alien game. And then you owe them. Still mad about that game. We've got another proposal for them. That computer lady gave the finger. I wow. couldn't tell it was learned. I was pretty yeah. sure it was the finger. She she could have been you know the one. The rude gesture. I want to play as the Beast Man. Oh, that's the Beast Master? I didn't want to say that because he's a Dota guy and that's not the Dota guy. You know there were Beast Masters before Dota, right? There was the Beast Master. Terminators. DLC. Yeah, no, we know. They announced that before. Wait, okay. This is the DLC thing. Yeah. That's a smart move. Oh, I think yeah. it's kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Go back and make a thing for your old game to yeah. introduce the new game. Especially your old game that came out a really long time ago. Yeah. Isn't that Dead Rising uh, Case Zero? World yeah. premiere. Yeah, oh, that was cool. Yeah. And just it keeps going. Though, right? Yeah, before Dead Rising 2 came out. Yeah. Well, a few of They probably have about another 10 minutes or so, if I had to guess. I want to hear about that new console. I could, There's I, still some they, time. They said about 90. Oh, okay. They said they like about 90 yesterday. Maybe they go long. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the pause on that. That probably would have been a cooler thing a month ago. <laughs> yes. Here's yeah, what he's doing. If Martin hadn't gotten out there and talked yeah, about uh, it. Just the Here's what we're doing instead yeah. of writing these books. Mm -hmm. I doubt you could even imagine it. Commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. Don't tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. That's on fire. Demise is my report. Feel like that trailer doesn't have anything that wasn't in the leak, you know. It's just like okay, like a little bit of tone and character, yeah. but like yeah. not. Like you think you know what that game is because it's a from game and all that stuff. Please but. welcome back, Phil Spencer. Oh. All right, here we go. You change the shirt. From multinational studios to one-person passion project. He did change. Thousands of Xbox too. games are in development for you right now. Just today we showed you 60 games. 
We are track? now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, the cloud. we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 cord. for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Oh, here, here. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. Hmm. And you'll have two ways to stream. Oh. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll really be able to use data. our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you this go. This is remote play. Okay. This, yeah. Yeah. Wherever, right? Okay. Okay. Where Use it to stream to like your PC? Now entirely your sure, you can choice. do it now. I'm you saying decide. locally. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so let's talk about our next console. We're talking about streaming from their service. Next console. <laughs> For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only. We heard you as a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that shit this time. One HDMI So board. the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor oh, going back and the Elite controller. Two vapor chambers. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live, this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. Hey. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Cube. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More like immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. Yeah. I'm an RPG mm -hmm. gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, Suck is that you don't have those. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. Okay. Oh, At the heart of our next chance. generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, yeah. this is four Probably. times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. <laughs> like, never seen before. <laughs> see, we're looking at frame rates okay, up to 120 frames is, man, per it's second. Insane. Okay, capability, said, variable said, refresh rate. rate. Next-gen ray tracing. It's real-time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing so what the game developer it. wants to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to low, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. 
What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with the next yeah, generation. We can bring the world to life nope. in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially yeah. awesome for Game Pass members with the faster you, load you, time. You heard that. You're going to yeah. be able to four experience all the games within so just the snap of your fingers. They're saying, yeah. I mean, they've already done the option to, to, to connect across, across devices line, and across so. platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Oh. Well, that's that, just going. That, that was like beat for beat, exactly like the Xbox One X reveal. Yeah, bunch of it talking heads and some motherboard footage. Because remember, Xbox One was or One X was part of the Scorpio. This yeah. is yeah. Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've huh. ever designed. Oh, we were getting the real name. Built for no, creators to unleash their them. boldest creative mm. visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, mm. when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity that was, was in a positive and is fashion. Worth yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. An NFL fever. <laughs> was that game where you that blue guy with all the different elements? Azuric Rise of Parathia. Yeah, that's the what game I thought you were talking cartoons, about. Cartoons, rain racing. So oh, uh, Mad Dash Racing Fab. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that says game engine footage. So they said By the way, really next holiday? Yeah, that game. Oh, that game. Master Chief here should probably put his armor on. That's him, right? Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Chief. Oh. John's part. Has a real uh, next Unreal Engine demo quality to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the colored lighting and smoke. How many frames is that dude running at? <laughs> Do you think got the computer lady in it? Daddy's listening. Dad. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss but stop you? Now. Miss you. And I love you. Where'd the dude go? I love you, Daddy. Why wouldn't you film the kid? And I can't wait to see you. Can you well, say something? Hologram tech is Thank not where it needs to be bye. yet. Bye bye. <laughs> Seven years, that hologram's gonna go crazy. Disabled, 
UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNSC. <laughs> oh, I snuck up on a fucking master chief. It's <laughs> 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 like floating in space. Yeah, it's just sleeping. Just wake you. Wake him if you need him. Space is a really big place. <laughs> not tell you what was going on at the end of five. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. I thought he was gonna fucking zap him and try to tell him. Hey, look at these four lights. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yes! How's that feel, Steve? Yes! <laughs> We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Oh no, those are things keeping you alive. You, you should go back there. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. I'll have to duck through the door. This is hologram my wife recorded. <laughs> you haven't been in a game in years, Chief. Is there going to be a Halo that's a Mobius strip? Think about it. Halo Infinite. Think mm. about it. We lost. Lost everything. Oh, no. There's nothing left for us here. Is that the Elden Ring? <laughs> I don't think we're here, Ace. Halo was bad, right? Wasn't it like a big weapon? Yeah, yeah Halo? Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to like eradicate all life. Yeah. Also, wasn't Cortana no. the bad guy by the end of the we last game? Yeah, yeah, she got all evil. Rampant. A virus or something. Get ready. What's this? Is that the same voice? Yeah. I think Mom, seems like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not out until the end of next year, but still, that's, that's a... <laughs> Then they say it's okay. launching with the new console next year. I mean, yeah. it's still more than they showed the last time, right? They announced this yeah, game. Maybe, and maybe they're not done, so. It doesn't give me That's what it is, though. I think it's a first person shooter. Yeah, but like, like it fucking needs to be more than that. I know, I know. Oh, man, they built stellar cartography for the movie. This is awesome. <laughs> Terminator again? Yeah. They really want you oh, to pre-order. Yeah, they're recapping. Oh, okay. that, was, that was the end. Uh oh, I see that face. <laughs> Scrunchy Vinny face. Yeah. No, it was, it was really good up until the end, I thought. Yeah. It didn't really say anything. Uh, yeah, I feel like I wanted to hear more about the streaming and the... Yeah. yeah. The, the, the streaming especially. Like, I didn't expect a whole lot more from the hardware right. end of things, but like the streaming feels like... Yeah. They really need to elaborate more. I feel like we didn't learn anything about that. Also, I think the... I mean, like you said, the game's not out for a long time, but... Sony Sony doing that Wired story a few weeks ago, like, super deflated <laughs> what they had to say about this thing. I mean, yeah, having them get out there like, and say, like, we also care about no load yeah, times. Their big thing coming out being Ray saying, tracing. like, yeah, we hate load times, we're gonna fix that. Yeah. Like, hey, they, yeah, they mentioned that two months ago. <laughs> oh, this one will play football, sweet! I also feel like that, I mean, that... Uh, that Halo trailer looked fine, but I, mm -hmm. there's nothing about it that. Kind of like that was the first trailer. 
Like the yeah. announcement for Halo 6, that yeah. would be like, oh, cool. But they did that last year. But that yeah. actually is the first trailer, though, because well, the other thing was literally just like, hey, check it out. Kind of a guy looking, looking at a Halo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just mean in terms of like, this is the power of the new console. Sure. Like, there was nothing right. there that yeah. I, I want to know what's different about that as a Halo game. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I wanna, what's their pitch for why the sixth Halo like, game is different? I'm not last. calling it by Halo Six. It makes you yeah. think that it's a bigger thing. Yeah, totally. But that. they're continuing the story, obviously. Yeah. Maybe the next console is called Infinite, and this mm. is Halo Infinite. Okay. Xbox Infinite. Hmm. Hmm. You could call it Xbox Infinity. You could do something could? like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it loops all around the X uh -huh. and the X. It's like mm. you could okay. do like a whole thing with it. I wanted more streaming. So what did they? So Project X Cloud yeah. is their streaming service. Yes. Yeah, that's what they're calling it right now. Anywhere. And that's available now. No. Okay. No, they're they're doing. Uh, they'll, they'll have some stuff at the show <sighs> for people to see. Uh, on that stuff, but it's not available now. Next best game available Xbox this year. Box game beta, beta Ultimate test this year. I mean, yeah. the key thing, the only real takeaway I got from that was the hey, you can run this off of our servers, or you can potentially stream from your own console to right. wherever you are, presumably on a slate of devices that will support it. Yeah. But that's kind of the only like specific tidbit I feel like I really yeah, got out of that. Yeah, and they've they've gotten out a little bit more and said hey. Um, you know, we, we've done the work to make any Xbox One game run in the cloud and right. that sort of stuff. So, like, you know, the those kinds of types of details on the service are theoretically out there, but I feel like it, it, it feels very disjointed. Like, they didn't bring it together into a core message of what they're doing. I, um, I, if, it, it feels messy in a I, way that I didn't expect. It feels to me like they knew they had to say something this year, but they're not ready, and they know that they're gonna go hard on this stuff next year, so this right. is what they were able to pull together coherently. They've got a year and a half. Yeah. It was pretty cool they got Miyamoto. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that really came together. Uh, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, I, I think it was good. I, I think the biggest thing for me was Game Pass just seems amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, if you're going hard. It's getting to the point where it's a no-brainer. I've right. had it for a while, and it, it's, like the third party support is not great. Like there, there are games that show up on the service, but it's oftentimes like games I've played elsewhere already. So I, yeah. maybe that's me, and maybe that's yeah, you know like you're like sweep. Yeah, you're I, pinning the meter on one yeah. end of the. But like, yeah. like like Metro Exodus is three months old. Yeah, and that's about to be on Game Pass, which is great. Like they're getting newer games now, and yeah. it's interesting because that's that was only on Epic Game Store on PC, yeah. right? Yeah. So that would theoretically also now be in the Microsoft Store ecosystem. Oh. Like on PC. Right. Hey. Well, I mean, well, it's a, it's a, it's it, 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 yeah, they might they might not console? be coming to PC. Okay. Uh, game Pass. It might okay. just be the console Game Pass. So when you get a game on Game Pass, I'm sorry, if this is really basic question. You buy the DLC. You keep the DLC. The game cycles out, but you can buy the game. Yeah, later. you can buy the game. Yeah, you can always buy the game. Pick up your progress and all that stuff. Yeah. I, sh I should. I think you get a discount on the game as yeah. well. I should double check this, but there was a game that showed up on another PC storefront this morning that should have been Epic exclusive, and it might have been Metro. I saw people saying like, "Hey, wait, that's supposed to be an Epic exclusive." I should. I, I need to check what game that okay. was. I think it might have been Metro. It could have been Metro. Maybe. Maybe they've got some out where if it's only on Game Pass and not for individual sale, they can have oh, it. Right, right. Or it's just not on Steam. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Keanu Reeves. Keanu yeah, Reeves. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> that was great. I thought you said Konami Reeves. Konami <laughs> Reeves is uh, uh, George R. Yeah. R. Martin, Konami yeah. Reeves. No uh, no Fable, no Playground yeah. Games wow. game. Like, a lot of those yeah. other acquired studios that we thought would yeah, make no, up no those 14 no, games. No Compulsion, no Initiative, no... Uh, they got the Ninja Theory. They did get Ninja Theory. They did get Obsidian out there. Well, that was yeah, Obsidian's not, existing yeah, game. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. They bought Double Fine. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right, they bought Double Fine. <laughs> they bought <laughs> Double Fine. Sure. Sure. Fantasy Star? <laughs> Fantasy Star. <laughs> Fantasy Star 2! It's happening! Was that a weird press conference? It yeah. wasn't bad. It was, it was a weird press conference. It was a little all over the place. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff. I, th I think yeah. I just I, I think it was not the press conference. I think any of us were expecting it yeah. to be. Yeah. And it, but I think it's more jarring because it started off feeling like it was gonna be. Yeah, because like the early goings were like pretty solid, you know. Yeah, like they were yeah. showing some really strong stuff, and then it just kind of the long middle, maybe like trailed off a little sure. bit. Sure, I think those wrestlers are still trying. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Someone check on their Twitters, make sure yeah. they're okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess, huh? You know, I wasn't again. I wasn't necessarily expecting them to go super hard on the next gen hardware stuff. You know, I figured they would have a similar type of sizzle, sizzle reel to what they did, and talk a little bit about that stuff. But I still feel like it just didn't quite hit. Yeah. 
Hey, can we load up this uh, mixer, this this Gears of War URL, if, if they're actually running here, and we'll see if those wrestlers are safe? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think like my thing was like, hey, you know, Sony doesn't have a show, um, and it's kind of if you if you've got it, if you've got the details on the next gen stuff and on the streaming stuff, this would be a great place to roll it out. Uh, and they saw it differently. <laughs> yeah, like I, I kind of had a hope that maybe this was a. Uh, never gonna happen. But I, you know, I don't own an Xbox One X, so I was kind of hoping that their streaming stuff would bridge between now and Project Scarlet, so that on my Xbox One I could stream in 4K and play the games like an X would, but just mm. stream. So right. I wouldn't have so for a year or whatever it is. Uh -huh. I would just be able to, you know, play that stuff. Because you know, I don't have a One X. I don't have Game Pass. But like, this is really appealing. I should probably get Game Pass. Uh, but I'll probably do that stuff more on my PC. Yeah, you do have a good stuff. PC, so you yeah. all those games are on PC. Right, so I'll probably just wind up doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. It would have been neat if I could like play 4K on my Xbox One, just the streaming service, to then get me to Scarlet. Or well, whatever. that's, I mean, they're launching the streaming service this year. So but, uh, but I feel like there was just not enough details to year. know what it is. All like, they said I, is public beta later this year. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I feel like... the. My guess is that the details will be kind of what you're looking for. I from hope so, some, yeah. some of the previous stuff they've said about what it is and what it can do. Have they come out with, like, like, like did they come out with a Stadia, like, 30 megabits? Uh, no, no okay. I don't know that they've gotten that specific yet. Um, and I think that message is weird. I think, like, watching Google's stuff, I think, watching them talk up, like, oh, yeah, you're not going to need a ton of bandwidth. In a world where you know people in a lot of regions have bandwidth caps and you know right. like a lot of other stuff like that, like it just doesn't. You know, people started like kind of doing the math about like okay, if, well if you were streaming 4K HDR, right. they say you need this many megabits, blah blah blah. You'd hit your data cap in 60 hours or something like that, and then start paying extra. And actually, it might be cheaper to just buy a fucking console at that point and not their streaming thing. You know, like it. Yeah, I, I think a lot of that stuff is up in the air, and and. A lot of it, those problems are infrastructure related that are kind of not necessarily in Microsoft's hands. Nope. So if you don't have good answers to those questions, maybe maybe now's not the right time. Mm. So I think Google's kind of facing some of that backlash uh, with by, with the stuff they have gotten out there with. I, I don't know. I mean, but also like I think a lot of the details we're looking for are nitty gritty nuts and bolts stuff that yeah. mean a person on stage talking for long stretches of time and they kind of sure. chose to <laughs> skew in the direction of. <clears throat> Electric floors and yeah, uh, you and know. It, it ain't like they don't got another year and a half of Xbox One stuff they need to be pitching and, and getting out there. See, I think I th I think the thing I was expecting is like with how few games they had like last year, I was kind of expecting it to kind of stay on that course, right? And to not really have a lot of big Xbox One announcements left in the chamber because it would be like, oh, we got some stuff coming out because you know a lot of people did buy the Xbox One even if it's not as many as we would have liked, mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna kind of push into this next generation stuff because right. oh god, uh, it's going to be our fresh shot at this all over again. But instead, they uh, instead Fantasy talked, Star instead they talked a lot about a bunch of Xbox One games. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, the Sega email just came in. Let's take a look at this fucking thing. Mm. Free to play Fantasy Star Online two service announced for the West debuting spring twenty twenty. Was it free to play over there too? Yeah. Um, all stories and content, especially the fan favorite epic battles with their huge number of enemies, will be included in this release. Uh, gigantic boss enemies, create your own character with the ultimate character creator. Oh. Okay, there's like zero details here. It's just like a bunch of fluff language about like how good the game is. Uh, mm -hmm. No limitations on game experiences such as class level cap or direct purchase of high tier weapons because we want to provide all players with a fair and exciting experience. What? Mental. Okay, so I think they, yeah, so what they did over there in the other versions, of the, I think what that is referring to is I think there was a paid service you would subscribe to that got you like more like your own private room and then also raised the class level cap maybe. I, I lost touch with what they were doing in that game, so maybe that's... If players still find themselves in need of assistance for their quest, microtransactions are there to help. Oh, does oh. it really say that? That's very nice. It yeah. really says that. Wow. <laughs> Just, hey, listen, that's... They're that's here nice help. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you, Michael Transactions. It's weird. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Yeah. Uh, was, Gears, was Gears announced for November? 
uh, September. 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 September yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Coming up. Yeah. Early Jeez. for gears. Yeah. But cool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, the, the Forza stuff's out this week. Um, you know, they didn't... Do we have any other games for holiday? Besides gears? Well, that... Uh, October 25th was a... Uh, that Outer Worlds game. Outer Worlds. Well, that's on. That's, on that's not them. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. You mean like exclusive? But yeah, yeah. First party oh. games. Is it Gears really? What was Psychonauts? That's everything. With, that's everything. Every platform. Yeah. Oh, oh, not exclusive. Oh. Do they have a date? Yeah, that was that was uh, crowdfunded. Right. I don't think they do. God, I think. I think that so Gears really their only. So first okay, party maybe game they did. Year? Maybe they did announce a bunch of Xbox games, but it's not necessarily this year. Like first party stuff leaning in on Xbox yeah. One. Maybe they're like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, you guys can keep making games for this thing. We'd love for you to do so because we're not. <laughs> trying to think what else uh, they talk about. There's the Ninja Theory thing. I mean, it would make sense with the time frame of all those acquisitions for them to all be making totally. games for the, exactly. next, the next console. And yeah. there's also the stuff they ship. didn't talk about, which was the next Forza game, you know, yeah, which yeah, normally right. would have been out this year because yeah. they're, they've been annual with that stuff. Right. But yeah, instead, they focused on Horizon 4 DLC. That's the first time they'll have missed a year on a Forza release in like eight years or something. Something like Since that. Since Horizon started up. Yeah. You know. What uh, was the um, Minecraft dungeon thing? Was that a. Was that I think that's PC this year? and console. I, I, uh, yeah, okay, that's a first party game. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah I, I mean, about that one. I mean, they there hit their stuff. mark of like having a bunch of first party games. They said 13 stuff, or yeah. something, right? Didn't they? 14. Say 14 yeah. first party thing? Wasteland 3. Well, oh, Game Studios, yeah. Yeah. Uh, stream is not starting until 5, it looks like. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're not. Okay, so those guys are trapped <laughs> under the stage. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Several hours. A couple AC, hours. Yeah. Oh, they're going to miss Bethesda. Yeah. So what are we oh, doing well. out here, man? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, supposed to, we're supposed to go see some Microsoft stuff here shortly. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. see that streaming stuff. <laughs> yeah, me and yeah, I are going to go try yeah, to take a look at that, that stuff. New Xbox. I, I genuinely yeah. hope they have the next cloud kiosk over there. I would like to I would assume so, yeah. put my that's, hands that's on that. the thing I want to see. Play a game on showing Gears campaign stuff. Uh, How do you think Microsoft's conference is going to stack up against Sony's? <laughs> I feel like they won. I really feel like Microsoft won. <laughs> well, I mean, with, already? With, yeah. with the rumors around Sony's conference, I mean, gosh, yeah. you know, like a War of the Monsters 2. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to have yes, so many Japanese out flutes out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the stuff that they're, they're getting All right, this press conference tomorrow. versus the Death Stranding trailer. Death Stranding trailer. Death. This Stranding. this far and away, like, I don't, I don't you know. Sure. No Keanu, but... It's true. Yeah, I, I would take this over that all day long. Definitely Death Stranding. Um... So we'll be back at 5.15 Pacific time to talk about Bethesda. Oh, yeah. Looking at some Doom, some Wolfenstein, some other, the VR Fall Wolfenstein, 76. probably. All your favorite Fall 76 updates. Online, baby. Uh, Andrew WK? <laughs> Maybe. Keanu? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, Rage is out. Right. Uh, but they're still, oh, uh, yeah, they may have yeah, added yeah. it already, I don't know, but there was some. No, I think, I think it hasn't come out yet. Okay, the yeah, there's, there's still the Keanu the pack to... Andrew Pack. That's what the K and Andrew WK stands for. Mm-hmm. Andrew W. Keanu. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Reeves. <laughs> and no, no, uh, no uh, live services or anything on Nintendo at, at all. Right? No, they didn't mention yeah, any bringing their stuff. That. Maybe they That's say that at Nintendo's thing. Nintendo has a thing, remember? So they put out a tweet the uh, that, that the, like, <laughs> the Xbox account put out a tweet saying, like, here's stuff to watch at E3. Yeah. And you could take this as, like, well, it's all on Mixer anyway, and uh-huh. they were just promoting that. But like the Nintendo thing was listed on there. Okay, the direct. Does yeah. Nintendo run the thing on Mixer? No, it was the Xbox account tweeting out like, "Here's the schedule of shit happening during E3." No, no, but I'm saying Nintendo broadcast? rebroadcast it on Mixer. I have no idea. They go out to everything? Probably not. Like, huh? I mean, if I were them, I'd put it on everything. I mean, they, I think mixers. the Mixer team runs a Nintendo-focused show. Oh, I see. So maybe they yeah. would do a talk over weird with that crew. I don't know. I could see something Xbox related in the Nintendo thing, like you said earlier, maybe like a character in Smash. But I feel like a services thing would be weird for a direct. Well, if you if you think about like the X Cloud stuff as something that can come to a ton of different devices, I think that's still an announcement we eventually get. But considering how little they talked about those services here, yeah. it would probably be weird to then <laughs> like say that here. one up it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's big enough that you need a live venue. Yes. For Phil and Miyamoto or somebody else from Nintendo to stand on a stage together right. and, and hold hands or whatever. You know, you know yes. like kind of yeah. hold hands and raise them up in right. triumph. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, yeah. So, again, we'll be back 5.15. That's a little under two and a half hours uh, to talk about Bethesda and uh, see how that stuff goes. And then tomorrow is Ubisoft at 12.45 and then Square Enix at 5.45 and then Nintendo and then there's actually three and actual video games and other stuff mm-hmm. to go see and play. Speaking of which, Brad and I are going to go see and play video games right now. Go do it. 
We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye.